Greetings friends and strangers alike, welcome one and all. I'm your friend Light Woodland Elf and welcome to a brand new series. This, as you can see, is Pokemon Leaf Green version. But we're doing something a little special with this run. It is going to be a Nuzlocke challenge. Now, first of all, what is Nuzlocke? Some of you may be unaware as to what the Nuzlocke challenge is in the Pokemon community. Basically, a few years back, a guy decided to just bust out an old copy of his Pokemon Ruby and play through with some self-imposed hard mode rules. Now, there's only two main rules. Uh, the, there are many, many variations and deviations of this challenge. Uh, it's all self-imposed, all under your own discretion, so the challenges deviate from person to person, but there are two rules that sort of maintain through all challenges. They're, they're the ones set in stone. Uh, one, you can only capture the first Pokemon you see in a new area, and only that Pokemon. Um, a new area being basically any new area where you can obtain a Pokemon in some way, be that a route, a cave, uh, even if it's just like a, a city with a little body of water in it, that can count. Um, what this does is it, it makes it so that you you play with Pokemon that you don't really play with that often because you're sort of forced, uh, you're limited in what you can battle with in some way, so it, it, it leads you to use a lot more Pokemon that you wouldn't really think to be using uh, in the first place. The second rule, and this is the big one, this is what makes the Nuzlocke challenge uh, basically Pokemon hard mode, is that if a Pokemon faints in battle, you cannot use it anymore. You consider it dead and you either release it or just put it in a box in the PC forever. So what this does is it forces you to be a lot more strategic or a hell of a lot more cautious. It pushes you to play a lot smarter and it actually means you get attached to your Pokemon a lot more. Uh, whereas otherwise you might not care, you might not just throw a Pokemon under the bus as a sacrifice. Uh, which is a legitimate strategy in like online battling and stuff. But not here. Uh, if a Pokemon faints, well, even once it is dead, you cannot use it for the rest of the run. And uh, that's what makes this run very, very interesting. There all, are also some sort of subsection rules uh, that people implement themselves. I'm just going to stick with these main two. Uh, the, the other rule that I'm going to kind of go with, uh, sort of an unofficial third rule, is that you must always nickname your Pokemon. And to be honest, I do this anyway because I enjoy it, it's fun. It brings you a lot much more closer to your Pokemon. So those are the rules down, but one question has not been answered. Why is it called Nuzlocke? Well, the guy who uh, did, did the original run of this uh, actually ran a comic alongside it. And in the comic, there was a, a joke where his Pokemon Cedar had the face of Locke from Lost. And then it evolved into Nuzleaf and was again shown to have the face of Locke. The Nuzleaf with the face of Locke actually becomes a pretty big plot point in the in the comics. Actually becomes a pretty big character. Spoiler. <laughs> so the uh, the fandom of 4 sort of uh, took this and dubbed the whole thing a Nuzlocke. So there it is. There's the challenge in a nutshell. Um, I will leave like a link in the video or something so you can skip that if you so choose. Uh, but that's it, we're done. Uh, let's get on with the game then, we don't... Oh, the cursor popped up on screen, sorry. That's it, we don't need to look at the controls, this is a fucking Pokemon game, we don't... We don't really need to know. Yeah, yeah. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges and solving mysteries. At times you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. <laughs> Is this Pokemon or real life? <laughs> be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you'll be interacting with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press your button and let your adventure begin. Woohoo! We're here. Ah, a Pokemon Let's Play. Oh, hang on. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. Affectionately? Really? 
That's more of like a title, not a, an endearment. But some people Pokemon are pets. Others will use them for battling. As myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Mm-hmm. But first, tell me a little about yourself. And here's the infamous question. <laughs> Oak not being able to recognize if we're in a boy or a girl stood right in front of him. <laughs> um, I kind of like the girl sprite in this game, but I guess we are going to go with the boy just because. Let's go with the boy. Let's begin with your name. My name is Elf. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Let's go all caps, baby. Right, so your name is Alf. Yeah, it is. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. Um, what was his name now? And Oak is apparently seen now because he can't remember if his name was his own fucking grandson. Uh, I've got a very particular name in mind for this guy. We are going to name him Burrito. And the reason for that is uh, my friend Burrito King is currently running a Let's Play of Fire Red, which is the opposite game to this. And honestly, that's a big inspiration for me even starting this Let's Play. Because I saw him start that and I thought, ooh, I want to do a Pokemon game too. Um, so I'm going to name my rival Burrito. Oh, no, I don't. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, was it Burrito? Yes. That's right, I remember now. His name is Burrito. By the way, this is a terrible Oak voice, I'm sorry. Elf, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Oh, 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 that was a bad trip. Suddenly I'm in my room. Oh, God, what? Oh, no, I need to go back to sleep. Hang on. All right, so this is Pokemon Leaf Green. Uh, why am I playing Leaf Green, might you ask, and not Fire Red like Burrito King is? Well, I thought it'd be nice to do the opposite game, even though there's really nothing different between the two. And partly because I owned Leaf Green as a kid, I never owned uh, Fire Red, so this is my game. I still actually have Leaf Green, I still have the cartridge for it. Anyway, classic Pokemon Capo, let's boot up the PC, and we can apparently store physical items in our PCs. Apparently in the Pokemon world, they have technology far suppressing our own. Alright, sorry about that. I actually just switched over to my Xbox controller because I completely forgot that you can use that with Vigil Burn fans. <laughs> That'll make playing Pokemon much, much easier. Anyway, a couple of things I want to do uh, is I want to change the tech speed to fast uh, and the battle style to set. What that option is, if you don't know, is if the battle option is on shift, you get the option to change Pokemon every single time you defeat one of the opponents. But if you change it to set, the opponent automatically throws out a Pokemon so you don't get a chance to switch. So that makes the game a little bit harder. And because this is a Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge, which is hard mode, why not? We're going to make it as hard as we can. <laughs> anyway... Do I even really need to explain anything about this? It's Pokemon, man. It's fucking classic Pokemon. I just want to run around and get me some Pokemans. Oh yeah, there is a speed up function in this, so I could just run around crazy if I wanted to. <laughs> Look at this, it's amazing. This is great. But we're not going to do that. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, I guess, let's hand, hold your hand through this. This is Pallet Town, the starting city of... Or oh, city, town. The starting town of... Uh, the very first Pokemon games, Red and Blue, and in this case, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, what do we? Oh, we need to find Professor Oak right now. Uh, he's not in his lab. You come up here. Hey, wait! Don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for protection. I know. Yeah, come with me. Oh no, creepy old man. Oh, he's gonna take me into his lab. Ah, oh, I'm getting groomed. I don't know if I want to do voices throughout this Let's Play. I mean, I did voices through the entirety of Final Fantasy VII. Um, and this game has no voice acting in it either, so I guess the temptation is to voice act again. <laughs> I don't know, let me know. Anyway, Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Burrito? What are you doing here, you little fuckhead? Oh, that's right, I told you to come, just wait. Here, yeah, Elf, there are three Pokemon here. Haha! -ha. You got me, bro. 
Pokemon I held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now in my old age, I only have three, three left. Wow, oh, you're giving away your own Pokemon? Can you even do that? Like, don't you, in Pokemon games that you have to trade, you can't just give up a Pokemon? Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Shut the fuck up, Burrito. You can have one, too. All right, here is the biggest choice in any Pokemon trainer's mind when they first start the game. Which starter do we pick? Now, uh, Burrito, in his Let's Play, picked Bulbasaur as his first one. So we're not going to pick that. We don't want to be... Uh, we don't want to be the same. Uh, so the options are Charmander or Squirtle. Now, if we were running this as a true hard mode, then Charmander is the way to go because Charmander get, gets absolutely fucked by the first two gyms in this game, being weak to both of them. Squirtle is strong against the first, neutral against the second. Bulbasaur is good against both the first two. So, sort of like Bulbasaur's easy mode, Squirtle's medium, Charmander's hard mode. But uh, honestly, I'm going to go with Squirtle. Because I love me some water types. Yeah. And what this does is my rival will then go and choose uh, the Bulbasaur, meaning that my rival in this game and Burrito playing his Let's Play both have Bulbasaur, so it matches up. <laughs> anyway, nickname to the Squirtle. Damn, skipping I do. Uh, being a Nuzlocke challenge, you kind of have to nickname your Pokemon. And I like to do it anyway, and I have the perfect name for this here little squirrel. I'm going to call you... Ugwe. As in, Master Ugwe from Kung Fu Panda. Who's a badass, like, old turtle guy. That's it, this one then. And he chooses the one strong against you because Burrito is an absolute asshat. I'm sorry, Burrito, I don't mean that. Please don't. Please don't kick me off the server. <laughs> Anyway, let's get out of here, see you, Oak. Oh, shit. Wait, Elf, let's check out a Pokemon. I'll take you on. Rival battle. This game throws you right into it, right into a battle. We're going to do battle with our freshly uh, obtained starters. Oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. Elf. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pick their Pokemon. Yeah, I know, Oak. Thanks for that. I've been playing Pokemon since before you were coded, dickhead. Uh, and you can actually... Mm, shut up, Oak. you you got to be careful during this beginning fight, because you can actually lose it. I mean, wow, that did nothing, so... Maybe we've got, like, a really... Maybe we've got a physical, de physically defensive nature on this guy. That looks pretty fucking sweet, actually. It looks like we're in no danger of losing this. Uh, if I lost this battle, technically the run would be over because I have no backup Pokémon to fall upon. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is how. That's how this is going to work. If, God forbid, the moment should come where my entire team dies, and I have Pokémon in the PC as backups, I can still continue the run. Um, if not, if my entire team dies and if I don't have any backup Pokemon left at all, or if my Pokemon in the bank are so low level that it's just not worth training them up, I might honestly just call the Let's Play there and end it. That's the way these Nuzlocks work, is you, oftentimes you might not actually make it to the end of the game. Um, I actually uh, recently booted up uh, my Pokemon Heart Gold. My, po my copy of Pokemon Heart Gold and did a, did a Nuzlocke run on that and I didn't finish it. <laughs> I didn't. I only got to the fifth gym and my team got swept. And uh, and I, I, I couldn't be bothered to raise the Pokemon in the bank because they were all solo level so I just called it and ended the run. Anyway, we head on to Route 1. So, well, we head on to Route 1 and talk to this guy. Uh, he gives you a sample potion. Sweet. That's always nice. I like how the flowers dance. It's so hypnotic. Look at it. It's the rhythmic motion. Ugh. Okay. Uh, so, many people consider the first route in the game uh, to be sort of a void route. You don't get a Pokemon here because... Well, if we were going to a fresh route, then I would only be able to catch this Pidgey. This would be my Pokemon for the route. However, 
I don't have any Pokeballs, so I cannot catch this Pokemon. Now, I could um, sort of bypass this rule and just say, well, I don't have a Pokeball yet, so I'll catch a Pokemon here when I do have a Pokeball. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bypass this route altogether. We won't get a Pokemon in this route. Uh, because, to be honest, I believe the catch list in this route is the exact same as the next route anyway, so it's not like we're missing out on anything. Anyway, I am going to, for the most part, try to fight all random battles that I can. Uh, because you you want to get that XP. You don't want to really miss out on any XP in a Nuzlocke run. Uh, generally, grinding is sort of frowned upon because... Um, you're just making it easier on yourself by doing a lot of grinding. And the whole point of this is it's supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to be hard, so... Excessive grinding is uh, something that's frowned upon in those locks, really. So we're not going to be doing too much of that. Oh, oh, I'm so tempted to just do the speed up. Speed up everywhere. God! Anyway, we need to hit up the Pokemon Center, don't we? Because, damn, who got hurt? Yep. I'm going to speed that up because it takes for fucking ever. <laughs> Alright, now we're in Viridian City. We don't actually have a goal here, do we? We weren't actually told to do anything here. We can head out this way. God, I'm gonna... I might even disable the speed up on my controller because I'm so tempted to just hold it down the whole time. <laughs> Potion, that's sweet. And there's a little tree there. Infamous in Pokemon games, you can't get past these things because even though it's only about your height and it's skinny as fuck, you apparently can't bypass it. Like, these trees, I can understand not getting past. I mean, we can still clearly walk in between them, but... Ah, <sighs> Pokemon games. Anyway, we're not going to head out to this... Well, you can head out to this portion of the route. Route 22. Well, you know what? We're actually going to catch a Pokemon here. Screw it. Oh, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> I don't have any Pokeballs yet. I forgot. I don't want to... There are actually some really good Pokemon you can catch in that route, so we're not going to waste that opportunity. We're going to... Do what we come here to do. Now what you have to do is head to the Pokemart. It doesn't tell you this, but trust me, that's where you have to go. That guy's like, hey, you came from Pallet Town? How the fuck did you know that? You know Professor Oak, right? Yeah, because everyone in Pallet Town knows who Professor Oak is. <laughs> Actually, in the games, I'm assuming they do because there's literally two houses in the whole fucking town. But you notice there's like other NPCs in that town. Where do they live? Do they just live out on the street? Anyway, we've got Oak's pass Parcel, which is probably some sort of Viagra. He's an old man, you know, I might have trouble getting it up. Ho, ho, ho. Erectile dysfunction jokes. Anyway, you come up here and you see like an old man laid on the ground. Uh, he will stop you from block, uh, stop you from passing. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. What, the road? No, no, boy, that's not private property, you douche hole. And if you talk to this girl, she's like, oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm so sorry, he hasn't had his coffee yet. Yeah, this guy apparently won't let you pass because he hasn't had his morning coffee. Uh, what's interesting about this is in the original Japanese version, this guy won't let you pass because he's just passed out on the floor drunk. <laughs> but of course, uh, PC dictates that we cannot subject our children to the filth of alcohol, so it's coffee. In the international versions. <laughs> Anyway, let's head on back to Pallet, because there's honestly nothing we can do right now, because we can't pass that guy, pass that drunk on the floor. So let's go deliver Oak's uh, penis medication. Hey Oak, I got your Viagra! Oh, sorry, was I not supposed to shout that? Oh, Elf! How is my old Pokémon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokémon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Oh, this is my... Oh, shit. You weren't supposed to see this. I'll just put this in. Oh, it's, it's, it's custom Pokeball. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> okay. Ah, and Burrito's back. I almost forgot. What'd you call me for? I have a request for you two. Is it the obvious uh, sprites on the back table there that aren't part of the background? <laughs> the invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records. Yeah, we know what a Pokedex is. It's a high-tech encyclopedia that actually contains no knowledge whatsoever unless you put it there, which is kind of retarded. I actually had, when I was a kid, a... I actually had a Pokedex. <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't, like, a real Pokemon Pokedex. 
I forget what it was. I, th I actually think it just gave you information on all the Pokemon, like Pokédex does. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. I don't know. What, I don't know what happened to that. I loved that thing. It was amazing. It was like a Tamagotchi uh, style. Uh, it was like a Tamagotchi style thing, but it was a Pokédex. And you didn't actually have any animals to look after, it just gave you information on the Pokemon. You type in a number, like if you type in 001, Bulbasaur will come up. You know, like, that thing was amazing, I like that. I really like that thing a lot. Uh, I miss being a kid. Anyway, now I believe we have some Pokeballs, I wasn't listening to Oak there. Uh, so we could, if we wanted to, uh, catch this thing, yep we could, but we're not going to. Like I said, we're going to miss out this route because... We technically already saw our first Pokemon here. So. And you're not missing much because the only things on this route anyway are Pidgeys and Rattas. So. Oh, sorry, that's Pidgey and Rattata. You don't need to pluralize Pokemon. Pokemon is already pluralized. Anyway, let's speed this up. Man, Oogway's getting levels. Alright, so let's continue on up to Viridian City. I'm on the road to Viridian City. I'm on the way, I'm on the road. Okay, so I'm uh, for this first couple of episodes, I'll probably show all the battles, just because it's a Pokemon game. I better show you the, mecha the mechanics of the Pokemon game. But much like my Final Fantasy series, I am going to cut out random battles uh, quite often. If they start getting too repetitive, like if I'm just trying to get through a cave and there's like battles every two fucking feet, then yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna uh, cut them out. It's no big deal. Anyway, now we've gone and delivered Oak's parcel. The drunk guy's out of the way. Well, now I've had my coffee. That's when I need to get going. Mm -hmm. What is that red box you have? Oh, so you're working on a Pokedex. Let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex watch a match. Yeah, yes, I know what the Pokemon is. Oh no. Oh, uh, it's the Pokemon tutorial. Yep, this appears in every single Pokemon game. I have no idea why. They give you a tutorial on catching Pokemon. Even though technically we could have already done this uh, before getting here. So we already know how to catch a Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, I, I like that the game's trying to teach you its mechanics fine, but I don't understand why this can't just be optional. Like, if you know how to catch the Pokemon, just say, I don't need your fucking tutorial and continue on with the game. But it always forces it on you in every single Pokemon game, even the modern ones. Like, seriously, what? Even a kid these days will know what how to catch a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, this guy gives you a teacher TV, which is an item exclusive to these remakes. Uh, key items. It just teaches you the mechanics of the game if you're not sure. It teaches you about battling, uh, status effects, catching Pokemon, again, I think, I'm not too sure. Anyway, we are going to go back out to here, Route 22, and we're going to catch me a Pogimans. My first Pogimans. What is my first capture going to be? Give me some more awesome. Oh, it's a Rattata. Damn it. Well, actually, that's not so bad. I mean, come on, Ugwe, really? Yeah, a Rattata is honestly not that bad. Rattata is just sort of universally known as a pretty shitty Pokemon. But uh, I actually used one in my uh, Heart Gold Nuzlocke. And it was like... You! Ugwe! Oh. Yeah, you level up to level 8. You, you douchebag. Alright, so under the rules of the Nuzlocke challenge, we no longer get a Pokemon for this route. We killed it. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Can't believe that. <sighs> well, it's just Ugwe and me going on to the next route then. Anyway, you like what I was saying, um, Rattata was actually the star player of my team in my uh, my Heart Gold Nuzlocke. For the first, like, mm, four gyms anyway. That's kind of Rattata, Rattakate's thing, is they get, they're good up until, like, get into the halfway point in the game and then they sort of drop off in power. But for early game, they're actually pretty fucking good. That right kit of mine was a baller. An absolute beast, sweeping things aside. Alright, so we didn't get anything for Route 22, and we skipped out Route 1, so... Route 2, you are now going to be my first capture. 
Let's see what we get. And it's a Rattata again. Great, it's a male level 3, so exactly the fucking same as last time. Alright, now Ugwe. Ugwe, listen to me. Don't kill the Rattata. There we go, that's it. That's all you had to do last time. You just didn't have to rip its fucking face off. Alright, so half health should be enough to catch this thing. So let's give it a go. Alright, yeah, catching Pokemon in the early game is pretty dang easy. My it's anything when it attacks, small and very quick. It is a common sight in many places. Fucking yeah, it is, especially in this game. My god. This thing appears everywhere. Anyway, I have the perfect name for this Rattata. We are going to call it... Joey. And if you don't know what that's in reference to, you've never played a Pokemon game in your life. <laughs> uh, no, in um, in the Gold and Silver and Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes, there is a... a, a Train at a battle called Youngster Joey, and he has a Rattata, and he's very famous in the Pokemon community for having the uh, best Rattata in the world. His Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattata. <laughs> so, fuck, well, I'll just heal my Pokemon twice, they're extra fighting fit. So, yeah, we've got a Rattata called Joey. <laughs> I'm actually going to put him up front. So you can start gaining some levels. But that's going to be it for this first episode of my Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke mode. I honestly have no idea how long I've, how long I've been recording. Because I accidentally stopped my timer when I went to put my controller in earlier. So who knows? This could be an extra long or extra short episode. No fucking clue. Anyway, I am really excited to play through this game. Um, it's about time I let's play the Pokemon game. Because I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Uh, so here it is, we're going to go back to the very start with F Pokemon Leaf Green. So, that's going to be it for this first episode. I hope you join me for more. Thanks for watching. Bye!